Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha. Jeeves here, of course. You're all decomposing or decomposing on my break right now. And first, I want to do a quick shout out to my friends Eric and Lisa for allowing me during this period to hang out uh, at their place by the beach. I really appreciate it. Um, so I had said when I took the break I was going to do a lot of talk stories or something like that and realized that I didn't because um, I was just going through a full shelf cleaning <laughs> after a year of reacting to music and stuff and caught up on a lot of comments and um, uh, a consistent theme with the comments uh, by so many people was about the power of music and what impact it's had on uh, mental you know, health, um, anxieties, depression, um, even songs that have saved their lives. And, um, you know, for myself, I, I, I've always known the power of music. I did that other video talk story a while ago about music and depression and stuff. But <clears throat> the reason why I'm bringing it up is that I've gotten probably about a dozen recent um, messages from social media and on my Patreon channel. And, um, you know, the feeling that I get when I hear that the songs that I've reacted to has meant so much to them, especially songs that have saved their lives. Like when people are up against the wall and, and you know, the despair is so intense that, you know, you're, you're at that thought process. And for some reason, a particular song comes on or one that's a go-to and it just pulls them back off that wall and, and gives them that opportunity to, to take a deep breath and reassess that, that that drastic move um, you know music and, and emotions have always been tied in uh, a, a music uh, you know it's a sonic um, bath if you would uh, music that does affect us it, it affects us in a way whether we like it or we don't like it we like a song we don't like a song we like a genre we don't like a genre you know um, and it soothes us it, it you know it's like for some people music is not the most important or it's not a very big part of their um, life and and visual is you know being somewhere and looking and, and being in a I don't know in a forest or a whatever you know but usually it is it's accompanied with some kind of music and what's really ironic about that is that even the music from the birds that are chirping is influencing or, or here I am at my friend's house literally right on the beach and the sound of, of the white water is extremely soothing to me and which is ironic because I make a, a and I have made a wonderful life in the world of music and I love to create it but my most soothing moments are when I'm sitting in the beach or when I'm out surfing and it's that white water you know that's that's my crank it to 11 kind of you know get me going or for that matter just completely I can change that up in my head and completely chill out and sit at the beach and let this you know this white noise just kind of calm me down um, I don't have a particular song or anything that um, uh, changes my emotions so much as uh, there is one song uh, which is you know a lot of people is one of the most incredible songs if you're into old school prog you know which was Pink Floyd you know comfortably numb there was something very appealing about that song both sonically and lyrically that at that time in my life and to this day it really pulls for me um, that I'm not alone I think I think that's I think that's the um, to me that's the full stop realization uh, about music is a lot of times um, when we're sitting alone and, and, and we're contemplating life in general and, um, you know music's a personal experience in most cases I know that there's couples that enjoy the same kind of music and and or circle like us here you know we listen to generally the same kind of music um, is that it makes us feel like we're not alone when we find a band or an artist that intertwines the power of music and lyric 
for me, and I can only speak for myself, but I think from a lot of the comments that I've caught, it's it's like saying, you're not alone. Uh, I have felt, you know, if I was in, a, I don't know, any band, any, any one of your favorite bands, it's your artist saying, the things that you feel that you can't say that represent how you feel, and then you hear your favorite band or artist represent that with the power of music. And that's what, you know, that's what I believe the power of fandom is based on, is the fact that um, these individuals, these bands do represent that, you know, the letting it out or the joy of it, or, you know, that's what a love song, I mean, that's why love songs, you know, uh, there aren't a lot of love songs in metal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are, but, you know, in their own particular way, um, you know, have um, uh, an impact, you know, oh, I love you, uh, you know, and, and the, the guy can't say it to the girl, the girl can't say it to the guy, and then, well, they dedicate this song, and you feel this kind of connection with it, you know, and I believe that's the thing, they're saying the things that we can't say, or we don't know how to say or express it, uh, a lot of the emails I get is that, uh, which I find to be tremendously um, honoring is that people who say, well, I've always tried to explain to my friends what and why I feel what I feel about these songs, and I guess just because of the way I do what I do, there's a small connection between you and I, or those of us, those of you who've left those comments and stuff, so. Anyhow, you know, the power of music and, and our wellness, uh, mental wellness, and its ability to um, push us forward and motivate us or pull us back from making really bad decisions um, is absolutely, um, I guess, what's the term? A God tier <laughs> uh, realization, if you would, uh, for a lot of us that that's what, you know, the game's all about with music. It's, uh, it's, it's finding those songs that we align ourselves with and that's really super, super important. And um, and I guess if you're here on this channel, you've subscribed to me one or two times. <laughs> you know, some people come, they leave, they come, they leave. But you know, I, the one thing I think we all have in common, even if you're the most hardcore, heaviest um, hitter, like you only like a particular genre, and everybody else sucks because they don't. That's okay too, though. But that's that's fine because that music powers is the joystick to that energy, you know, that you have, that you're expressing. You know, it could be all, Rah, or it could be like, hey, <laughs> you know, with or without substance, you know. Uh, and then, you know, for me too, it's, it's funny, even though I'm now really enjoying my process of learning as I have through the whole year and I'm picking up my seven string and chugging and stuff, you know, I still, oops, a bug, ow. <laughs> I still kind of roll back to my more super chill meditation music. It's just it's just my soothing thing. But when it's time for me to get charged and stuff, yeah, now I'm hitting my channel and listening to all the reactions that I've done or channels or bands that I've reacted to on my little Spotify list and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's been a great journey, you know, that new experience. And that's the other thing too. You guys see me light up, you know, when I hear all these great new songs and, and then how I express it. And then, you know, through, uh, I just got this great email from a guy on Patreon, and he, I, I think it was called Mirrored Neurons or something he had mentioned, which I was familiar with the saying, but I didn't tie it together, is that excitement that people actually get, you know, when they see me listening to that track for the first time, and they get, you know, like, hey, welcome to the club, or yeah, he's hearing the same thing that I'm hearing, or, or, or whatever the case is, that there's some kind of camaraderie there. And there is, I mean, you know, some people get to relive that. I guess that's why they call it a reaction channel. Anyhow, listen, um, I've gotten long-winded and my, uh, my coffee's getting cold here. Stand by, stand by. Listen to the, listen to the surf for a second. Ah, and thank you guys for buying me the coffee. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, everybody who supported me and bought coffee and helped me with the kids or the shirts, you know, that are selling right now, I, I just appreciate it. Anyhow. Listen, you take care of yourself. I am coming back next week. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't get the shoulder surgery. Remember I said in the other video, I got postponed till January 5th. And I've had a few weeks to kind of chill, so it's time to get back to it. So you guys take care. You guys want to see what I'm looking at? Stand by. And remember, this is not my house, okay? 
this is my friend let me hang out here so I'm gonna turn this around it's probably gonna look crappy but I'll say goodbye from there all right stand by oh what does that look like hang on let me let me adjust it a little bit yeah all right guys <laughs> you take care of yourself I'll see you guys next week I'm coming back all right